Eivor! Eivor! We're off. Not right now. Continue. Hmm. Welcome, traveler, to our lush and fertile shores. I did not expect to find anyone on this island. And why not? This is England, home to a nation of Saxons and Danes. Our shores are open for trade. England. It is not what I expected. Many from Norway find the trip dizzying, but fortunately you have me to guide you. I know the land better than my own son. Are you all right? My son, nesting with the pigs north of Hadrian's Wall. Who knows what schemes they're hatching, or the sort of people they might send to spy on me. You said something about a tour. Of course, of course, a tour. Follow me. This is the city of London, first built by the Romans during ancient times. We have not seen builders like that since. I guess they had to work with what they had. These are the Dover Cliffs, famous for their bluebirds. Mm. Here is Jorvik, the Dane city of trade. Keep this between us, but King Alfred has a plan for Jorvik. I see. This is Hadrian's Wall, our last line of defense against the barbarous Picts. It is a line of sorts.
at the end of our tour is Winchester, the heart of Wessex. Where... where is King Alfred? Those honorless Picts, they have taken the king. We must seek them north of Hadrian's Wall. Where are you, my king? I am sure he's somewhere. Do not worry, my king. I am coming. going through my things. Thor's balls you found it. Why did you take it back? You set him off again, traitor! The king won't speak to me. You cut out his tongue. He has no tongue! Because you cut it out. You are his son. Do not feed this fantasy. His wits wither and become those of a babe. I took him here to ease his madness, but it grows worse. I try using reason or playing along, but he hears only what he wants to hear. Only what he wants to hear. I have an idea that could help, if you let me. Old man, your king is worn out from his ordeal. I can hear him speak very softly. He's praising you. He wants to thank... Heesing. He wants to thank Heesing for his loyalty to the crown. What else does he say? The Picts. Terrified at word of your approach, will pledge themselves to the crown if you spare their lives. They will? And they agree to pay a daily tribute of food and other goods in exchange for free passage through your lands. Oh, it is a good deal and greater news. Thank you. You may leave the king in my care now. This will only lead to further delusion. You'll know at least that he eats every day. And maybe someday, the fog will lift. Forgive my ill will. I knew this would be a difficult end, but sometimes the weight bears down heavily. There is courage and honor in what you do, and the gods know it. Good luck to you. Looks like England is united. The pigs have been fine subjects. King Alfred is pleased. The peace holds. For now.
Tell you all the story of how I killed an entire clan single handedly with the broken hilt of a sword? Too often, dog. More times than any man can count. <laughs> Sing us a song. Is there a sea skull among you? I know a crazed man about my age called Rokken. We are taken to calling Rokur the Rodent for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Rokur seduced another man's wife. That Holmgang against Rokur. Rokur accepted the Holmgang. And on the agreed-upon day, he laid out twelve of his axes and asked, Which of these will I use to slay you? Will it be Bone Splitter? He said. My bearded blade inscribed with the runes, affixed to a handle of English oak? Or Blood Fountain? He continued. My Dane axe, which swings through the air on two hands with the speed of an arrow's flight? Or might it be Twin Wolf Wounder? Broker growled growing even more bold. A fierce pair of throwing axes. At that moment, the man who had challenged Roker brought a large stone down upon his head. Roker died instantly, and his axes were given away as gifts. <laughs> Tiny little child approaches. Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I have consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? What you make up in muscles, you're lacking in spine. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair.
They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant! Yes! More! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? No, you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. Brutal! I adore it! <laughs> Wonderful! Rare to find someone with any flighting skill. You deserve every bit of your bet and more. I'll remember some of those insults. Happy to be of service. You there! You look like you could handle yourself in a fight. Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjörn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested how? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Show me your pics. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. This is my raiding crew, Eivor. What they lack in experience, they make up for in other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron. Into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashild the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So those three, yeah? Huh? I have handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Eivor Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Eivor Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Eivor. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready. Uh! Fight! The raider needs to be ruthless. I am better than any man here. You have much to learn.
You'll have to fight me first. Maybe you want to sit back down. No, no, I will be fine. And do not worry about me. Worry about yourself. Have a good chance. I would rather have some meat. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick headed, like his old man. Wait, that is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra, for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. Welcome, welcome. Come see what I have. These are locally sourced. Happy to lighten your load. You should always have some of these. Wonderful! No refunds. You couldn't have made them. Can I tempt you with something else? I'm off. Be well, friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
But these relics will last for... Welcome, warrior. Sulke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the Nine Worlds. Rare objects. Priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. And I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap? Belonging to the hero Sigurther when he fought the Great Beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Halfden the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you, and bring good crops! That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varin wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Sulke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Chadve pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kyotva. I ran! Coward! I should cut you down. No! Loki curse you! Words will not stop me! No escape! Uh. I'll get you! Take with me! Yeah! <laughs> Safety within its walls. that.
Best not to draw attention here. Try your hand at a game of dice with me, if you dare. <laughs> ah, Orlok. Orlok indeed. Let us have a game then. Let's begin. Let the best player win.
This will do. this. Trying. I went easy on you there. Let us go again. I dare you. Another time, perhaps. Think you can swell with the vast? Ah! A thirsty foe? Drink it down faster than me. You take the prize. Your silver. Let's see how much you'll risk. All in! Skull! Man your horn! Thor himself couldn't doubt me! 
er allur öksamar. Væri bráðlegt að minnsta kosti. Yeah. <laughs> 